Oh, I love it when they do that. That beautiful stot that they do. Oh, nearly a collision. That is almost a handstand. And that was, there we go. Full of the joys of spring. That was lovely. <laughs> that handstand-like motion is what's known as stotting. And it's a way of showing how, there we go again. No, they stopped again. They're playing basically, but the males are chasing them around every now and again. And it's a way of showing that they're fit and healthy. It's an instinctive response, so all antelope do it in one way or another. As I said, it's called stotting. And springbuck do it in a very special way. They do something called pronking, where they arch their back and they draw their feet together as they jump. Impala do handstands, and I've seen them almost, they almost look as though they're going to break sometimes, because they're such fragile looking creatures at the best of times. When they do that dancing handstand-like motion, it looks as though they're going to snap in half. And it's quite phenomenal that they can bend their backs in that direction and put that kind of weight on their legs. <laughs> One of the younger rams looking anxiously across at the older ram that's caused all of this chaos. And just like that, it's all over. So after the breeding season, there's still some rams that take a little while to accept that it's truly over and that they will no longer have the opportunity to mate with the females until the next year. Do it definitely takes some longer than others. He's still grunting every now and again. We spoke about how well-groomed the Impala are. Joanne in Canada wants to know what they feel like. Is it soft to the touch? It is. It's very, it's very well, it's not silky smooth. There is a, f it's relatively soft, but it's still got a little bit of coarseness to it because, of course, they're wild animals and they, they need that fur and that, that very, very thick hide to protect them from both the elements and also it makes it much harder for a predator to catch a grip on the side of a, an impala if their hair is slightly coarse and at the same time quite smooth. And obviously there are certain, I've been fortunate enough to touch impala before. The, funnily enough, the glands at the back of the legs are so smooth and velvety where those black dots are on the back of an impala's legs. Those are really, really smooth to the touch. They're definitely one of the, the softest pelted animals out here. A wildebeest is also quite silky, if you stroke along the fur along the side. There's something... There's something there. Just sort of disappeared. I'm just gonna go forward ever.